I often get asked the question of which company makes the best snowboards. So in this video, I'm gonna try my best to answer that question. It's a really hard thing to figure out because all the top companies do something a little bit different that separates them from everybody else. So we're gonna start it off by breaking down some of the top snowboard companies and seeing what separates themselves from all the others. There are way too many companies to talk about in one video. So I picked a handful that I'm gonna discuss in this video. But I would love to hear what your favorite snowboard company is. So leave a comment down below, let me know who and why. We're gonna start off with a big one with Capita Snowboards. These guys are very devout snowboarders and I know a lot of people's favorite company. They come out of C3 distribution, which means they are also tag teamed up with Union Bindings. So Capita and Union make an awesome team together. But looking specifically at Capita, they are made in the Mothership factory in Austria, and this is one of the illest snowboard factories in the world. They make Capita one of the most eco-friendly boards to ride because at the Mothership, they have zero emissions and 100% of the energy that they use at the factory is created by them whether it's through solar energy or the river that runs right next to the factory. There is so much science and technology that goes into creating the energy that they use to be as sustainable as they can. They came out with a video all about the mothership, which I'll leave below in the description. If you're interested in that, I highly suggest checking it out because it is the coolest thing ever. Aside from that, they also source all of their woods locally from within a five hour drive of the factory. That means they're creating less of a footprint, bringing those resources to the factory. On site at their factory, they also have a ski slope, which they're able to test their products right out the door to see what they need to change and update. And coming out of the Mothership factory are some of people's most favorite boards in the game. They have the Mega Mercury, the Mercury, the Defenders of Awesome, the Black Snowboard of Death, and the Outsiders, just to name a few. Capita is what I snowboard on and is definitely one of my favorite companies. But up next, let's take a look at Libtech and GNU coming out of Mervin Distribution. So if you don't know, Mervin, who makes Libtech, AKA Liberace Technologies, and GNU is made in the US by snowboarders for snowboarders. On every snowboard that comes out of their factory, there's a tag that is signed by the snowboarder that has made that snowboard. Super cool to see something like that because you know the people making your boards love snowboarding as much as you do. One of the lines that Libtech is most famous for right now is the Orca series. And that has been many people's favorite boards, whether it's the Orca, the Golden Orca, or the new Apex Orca. But there's many other boards that Libtech and GNU come out with that many people love. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Libtech is their graphics. They have the illest graphics in the game, and that's because Libtech supports artists that they know can get the job done. Mike Perillo is one of their big artists who Travis Rice uses on his graphics, and every year he steps it up and up to the next level. Mervin has also always been on the forefront of new technology. They created things like magnet traction and hybrid camber profiles. These are huge things that now pretty much every snowboard company has an iteration of, but it just goes to show that Mervin is always ahead of the game, creating something new for snowboarding. Up next is Jones Snowboards. This is Jeremy Jones's company, which has been making snowboards for over a decade. They make some of the illest all mountain, big mountain snowboards that Jeremy takes and trusts in Alaska conditions and some of the heaviest lines in the world. I would say one of the things that separates Jones from everybody else is their splitboard game. They make some of the best splitboards in snowboarding right now. And that's because that's Jeremy Jones's biggest passion. He wants a product that he can use and trust and take wherever and be the best mode of transportation for him out in the backcountry. Jones is a little more oriented to free riding and powder snowboarding, but because of this, they make some of the sickest powder boards. Right now they have a surf series, which they do in collaboration with surf shaper, Chris Christensen. Him and Jeremy Jones have teamed up in the last few years to make snowboard shapes that ride the best in powder conditions. Whether that be through the 3D rocker nose on some of their boards or from the straight surf shape that Chris Christensen brings from his surfboards to the Jones snowboards. Some of Jones's most popular boards are the flagship, the mountain twin, the mind expander, and the solution split board. Next up is Burton. If you ask anybody who doesn't snowboard in the world to name one snowboard company, the first one they will say is Burton. Because they are one of the biggest brands in snowboarding, 
that makes people either really love them or really hate them. But the coolest thing about Burton is that they are still privately owned by the family that started them. That means that they have all the say in what they want to do with their company. Through Burton, Jake had always wanted to progress snowboarding as far as it could go, whether that is making snowboarding as worldwide known as it is today, or bringing people into the sport that have never tried it before. One way they do this is through the Chill Foundation, which is their nonprofit program to bring inner city kids into snowboarding and give them that experience that we all love. Looking at their gear, Burton has always tried to push the envelope to make better and better products, whether that is through their step on line, the strapless binding and boot system, or through the family tree line, which they're always trying to produce new and unique styles and shapes of snowboards. I would say Burton also makes some of the best kids gear in the game. Starting from the riglet system, they try to make the easiest way possible for people to learn and grow through snowboarding. Now let's take a look at Salmon snowboards, another favorite for many people. I had ridden Salmon for a long time, about five or six years, and they were some of my favorite boards. They have always had a stacked team of riders, whether that's street dudes, backcountry guys, or just all around park rippers. The biggest thing that I noticed when I used to ride Salomon was that their constructions were really light. If you pick them up next to another board, you'd always see that Salomon made a little bit lighter boards because of the materials that they use in their construction. Some of the things that they do different from other people is that in some of their boards, like the Assassin, they use a cork sidewall, which lightens up the board and dampens some of the chatter that you can see in riding. They also use a quadratic or parabolic side cut which is different from everybody in the game. And that makes their boards super fun to turn. And lastly, let's look at Nitro snowboards. If you think about how big of a name Burton holds in the US, Nitro holds as big of a name in Europe, where they're from. The owners of Nitro love snowboarding almost more than anybody. And if you've ever seen some of Nitro's movies, you can see that when these guys are talking about why they do what they do. Because of this, they put a lot of energy into sharing the love of snowboarding. And they do this through some of the movies that they make. Some of my favorites are Offline, Boom, and Vominos. If you haven't seen any of the Nitro movies, most of them are for free on Red Bull TV. But taking a look at their snowboards, they make some of the illest, whether it's the Beast, which is a destroyer in the park, or their Quiver series, which is their uniquely shaped POW board line. This started with the original Quiver years ago, which was a swallowtail board, which people were ripping everywhere. They now, of course, have the Big Pink or the Cannon, which is the 203 Swallowtail snowboard that I'm sure everybody has seen. If not, you can check out my video on that board right here. So looking at all of those aspects across all of these brands of snowboards, who do I think is the best snowboard company that makes the best product? And this answer might disappoint you a little bit, but I do not think there is one brand in the snowboard world that is way above another brand. Because everybody does something a little bit different, they all make amazing snowboards. It's not the superiority of a better construction necessarily or a better ride in a board. So when you're at your local snowboard shop checking out boards, don't go in there thinking you're looking for the best board company because all the top boards that you'll find in any shop are some of the most fun and best boards out there anyway. And that's why snowboard shops carry a whole selection of snowboard brands. But I'd like to hear what you have to say about it, so let me know below. Thanks for checking out this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.